Oh, we want to thank Jeff Bezos for going to space because when he was up there, we were signing people up. Yeah, we were down there, Jeff Bezos. He's out there getting straight. On Friday, Amazon workers in Staten Island voted to form the first unionized Amazon warehouse in the country. Given that Amazon is the fifth largest corporation in the world, the significance of this victory really can't be overstated. This most recent push for an Amazon union was catalyzed by the pandemic, when Amazon tried to force workers to continue working amid a shortage of masks and PPE, as well as hospital beds and staff. Amazon workers organized a walkout in response, which led to Amazon firing one of the lead organizers, Chris Smalls. During the pandemic, Amazon workers were pushed into overdrive to meet the massive swell in online shopping. Despite generating record profits for Amazon during this period, Amazon workers reaped none of the benefit, working under conditions designed to squeeze every last drop of labor out of the Amazon workforce. I was getting write-ups for like stepping away from my station for a certain amount of time. Um, I would get write-ups for checking something quick on my phone if it was an emergency. I used to think it was a black and brown issue, but people of all colors and all backgrounds go through the same harsh, excruciating treatment. We, we get 15 minute breaks during our shift. By the time you get to the break room and you, and you manage, if you want to get food from the vending machine, by the time you sit down, most of the break is gone. You get maybe two to three minutes to actually rest before you have to get back on your feet. Um, I've seen people literally unable to tie their shoes because their feet are swollen from having been on their feet for 12 hours. The managers come around and they go, like, it's time to get back to work, hurry up, more productivity, and then they, they temper it by trying to say, oh, I love you though, I love you. When Amazon got wind of the union effort, instead of addressing the grievances raised by the union, Amazon attacked it by attempting to paint the union drive as an effort being driven by nefarious outside actors and not the workers themselves. They will put up anti-union posts all over the warehouse. What do they say? They will say, um, your vote, your vote, your choice, vote no. Now, mind you, like if it's if it's their vote, their choice. Why would you persuade others to vote no? Um, they'll say um, Amazon is a third party. Get the facts or whatever it is. They do not represent Amazon, but that goes to show in reality the union busters. They don't represent Amazon. They don't represent the workers. They they're paid thousands of dollars a day, almost close to a million, to spread lies and misinformation to employees about us union. So yeah. The Amazon labor union insisted that this was only the beginning of their fight and that they would continue organizing workers at the LDJ5 warehouse next Monday. Jeff Bezos, bosses at Amazon, you cannot bully your workers anymore. We are not taking it anymore. We are taking back the profits that we make for you and we're going to take our fair share and you're going to treat us right or we're going to shut down those warehouses and you're not going to see a penny.